Welcome, collectors. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Diecast Emporium. Today's another one of those two for model videos that we're going to do, and we're going to focus on the compact loaders that Diecast Masters offers in 132 scale. On your left, you have the Caterpillar 272C skid steer loader, and on your right, you have the Cat 299C compact track loader. Now, the 299 is a little bit bigger of the machine than the 272, and the biggest difference, of course, is that the 299C has the tracks on it, while the 272C has the rubber wheels. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the 272 first, and then we will compare it and contrast and review this one right here, the 299C. So, here it is. As part of the Core Classic Series models, it comes in the brown cardboard style packaging with the model front and center. For reference, the item number for the 272C is 85167. On the back, you have a picture of the skid steer loading a truck there. And here's all your specification and dimension details for the real machine if you'd like to pause the video and check those out now. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take these out of the packaging and take a closer look at it. So these are Core Classic Series models, so they do come with our operator figure, Bob. Inside you have your catalog, as always, and also you have an instructional sheet here, which just shows you how to fit the different implements that are included. By the way, all of these work tools, the attachments, are universal. They're the same with both the 299 C and the 272 C. So in theory, you can interchange them as well if you want to do that kind of thing. To get the loader out, just reach down, pull it in, no twisty ties or anything. And here are your attachments that are back here. And they just kind of pull out like this. They're behind some tape, which is, you can always cut if you want to, or you can just pull the tape up. That way it helps you get the attachments out with these. So you have the bucket, which is on the skid steer right now. Here is your grapple, which is a mix between die cast and plastic. The bottom part of the grapple is die cast. The top tongs of the grapple right here, these are plastic, and it works really well. They close all the way with a satisfying click. And the other attachment that is provided for both of these models is a pallet fork right here which is reluctant to come out of the box there we go here it is and this again is also a uh, hybrid die cast and plastic piece the back part of this is metal and the front part these tongs here these are plastic they don't slide back and forth you can't move the tongs in closer expand them out but overall it's still a solidly made casting and I'll show you as we get into the review how to fit these to the quick coupler. All right, so let's get the packaging out of the way. And take a look at the overall machine. So, as I mentioned, here it is. The CAT 272C skid steer. The decal application looks really, really nice on here. And in fact, if you look here, hopefully the camera will focus on this. This reads 272C high flow XPS 2 speed. And then on the back you have cat and some painted lights same thing here and on the front you have caterpillar here's your operator figure bob what's really nice about this is they actually molded this bob figure with his hands around the forward joysticks so i hope again i hope that's coming up on camera but if you can see his hands they're actually wrapped around the joysticks so that's a very nice detail in the cab so as for functionality it raises to about there, which is respectable, and dumps to about there. Here's your carry angle on the other side of things. And you can achieve a pretty good cut angle, which you see this a lot with skid steers. So that has also been replicated fairly well. Let you see what the front of this looks like as well. So there you go. Now to remove the attachments, it's really a hook over mechanism, so it's pretty easy to do. As you can see here, this top part just hooks over the quick coupler and the bottom part snaps in. So let's put the tongs on so you guys can see what those look like. 
Again, so you want to hook over, see if I can do this on camera here. You want to hook over the top part of the quick coupler right here. Push those down. Need it a little bit closer to me, so I'm sorry about that. It's not going to be on camera. Push those down and then push the bottom part in and you are good to go. So it's a very easy, robust mechanism. The quick, cup, the quick coupler may not be completely uh, reminiscent of how the real one works on the real machine, but it is functional and it is uh, very robust and durable. So you can change out attachments on this several, several times uh, without the concern or without worry that the mechanism will break on here. So once again, there is the CAT 272C. These models, again, are in 132 scale, so they're a little bit larger than your standard 1 to 50 scale models, certainly much larger than 187 scale models. And the reason that a lot of compact equipment, such as mini excavators or skid steers, are produced frequently in uh, either 125 scale or, in this case, 132 scale, is that allows you to get a little bit higher um, detail and some of the smaller parts to come out in the casting so again that's why a lot of model manufacturers for their compact equipment request that their models be made in a larger scale all right let's move on now to the compact track loader this again has the rubber tracks that's the main difference the casting itself also is a little bit bigger than the 272 on the back there's a picture of the real two the 299c compact track loader working Just to show you that they have the literally the same things. Here's the instructional sheet. Here is the catalog. And here's the same attachments that you saw before. Exact same attachments. All right. So, first thing the tracks do not want to roll hardly at all. Even if you had a rough surface, which actually, I can demonstrate that. Tested this out before the video, but just so you guys can see. So even if you have a surface that um, has some friction on it, again, these tracks are a little bit too stiff to roll. But the detail on them is very good. And if you look up reference photos, uh, or perhaps maybe you've driven or worked on the real machine, that's pretty close to what the tread pattern looks on the real one. So there you go. As far as how high it will reach, that is its full extension. If we put it up next to the 272C, you'll see that the height is almost identical between the two. So it would not surprise me at all if the same uh, modeling mechanism is used for both models, even though, again, this is a little bit smaller of a machine in the real world. And again, the buckets implements same size for both of these. So you have some nice casting detail for the cat logo and your lights back here. For some of your smaller details, you have some holes on either side. Here and here, which I assume are tie-down points for putting this on a tag trailer or something like that. And again, you have the figure with his hands around the controls. And some nice lights up here. And plastic is used on top to simulate a sunroof there, which is very cool as well. So overall, if you are into compact equipment, skid steers, track loaders, mini excavators, that kind of thing, um, these are really excellent representations of two of the machines that CAD offers, whether it's the 272 or the 299. Uh, both of these are seam models, so they're both the same generation. Again, both of them, I can't say this enough, both of them come with the exact same attachments, so don't let that you know, be the deciding factor in which one you pick. It boils down to whether you want a rubber-tired machine or a rubber-tracked machine, and they're both... It, near as I can tell, anyway, they're both priced the same as well, uh, around $45 to $50 U.S. at most retailers. So 
I think that's good value for these larger machines. But the most important thing is what you guys think. So you let me know down in the comment section below which of these two you're going to be out looking for. Or perhaps which of these two you already have in your collection. Because they have been out for a couple of years now. And uh, yeah, you, you guys let me know if you want to see more of these type of machines made in larger scales. Diecast Masters also released within the past couple years. They released a compact track loader. Or it might be a multi-train loader. One of the two. And a skid steer loader in 150th scale. So if you collect exclusively in 150th scale, they do offer machines like that for you as well. As always, I'm Tommy. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, take care, and we will see you in the next video.